previously on Quantum Break. Paul. Stop! Come back, goddammit! Ah! I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that could stop the fracture. The second time machine. No, 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 no. What? God damn it. We can't fix the machine, but I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The Monarch scientist. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were gonna kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder, you were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Sure. What's it look like out there? I think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation. It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, Weenie. Oh, well, in that case. My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. will hurt in the morning. My powers were growing. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Hey Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. Oh, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Okay, how am I getting to that radar tower? Uh, up you go.
right, that's that. I don't know how we're going to explain the ride out to the public. Hey, it was just our people there. We can spin it however we want. Call it an accident. Or pin it on Joyce. Yeah, he might as well take the blame for the mess he made. Thank God. Time felt broken here. Monarch built over World War II fortifications. Made me wonder why they chose that island. The existing tunnel system led back to the mainland. Perfect for construction of a highly secretive R&D facility. The timeline of the old cannon felt loose. I could shift it around. Smart place to aim the cannon, guys. I've been thinking. Monarch projections say these stutters are getting more frequent. If one hits while we're grabbing Dr. Amaral... You'll be frozen. Yeah, I know. It's a risk. Monarch specialist troopers have the stutterproof gear. I, heard I bet Serena. Dr. Amaral would have that in her office, too. Yeah, I heard I'll keep an eye out. See if I grab it for you. Somebody said I heard it was something personal, too. What is the deal with Serene, anyway? I mean, I thought Hatch was the big boss. Well, he is and he ain't. Hatch is the public face. Serene's the real boss. He likes to keep a low profile. That's pretty weird. Welcome to Monarch, pal. Stop the radar tower. Beth? I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? What is this, a Bond villain lair? You have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. This is Teresa Sidmack. Fuck. Happy to spend this fine evening with you good folks. We're gonna have a good time, but if you're keeping an eye on the in crowd, you know we're not gonna be the only ones. The very exciting, very exclusive Monarch Gala is tonight at their beautiful mansion on Gull Island. Of course, the event's invite only, and when they say exclusive, they really mean it. Word is even confirmed A-listers have had a lot of trouble securing an invitation. Predictably, rumors are already circulating. Some people are saying that this is not just a party, that there might be an important announcement about Monarch's future coming up. Lots of people are anxious to get in on the ground floor on whatever the new thing, if there is one, might be. It's no secret that when Monarch Solutions makes a move, it pays off. Well, I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. You'll hear about it as soon as I do, listeners. In the meantime, those of us with a 
view of the river, we'll be able to enjoy the fireworks show, which is bound to be spectacular. Speech is streaming. This handsome, I know. Let's give Monarch the audience they deserve. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to assure we maintain control over our path forward. And that's what tonight is about. The future. We all knew this day was coming, even if many of you out there aren't sure what it means. We're entering a new phase in our operation. One that presents new risks and new demands. One that requires this. The Cronon Field Regulator, or CFR. Now, many of you know that this device has been the source of our Cronon research since 2010. But what only a select few of you know is that this device is at the center of Monarch's plans to navigate through the dangers of the future. This device... Everybody get down! Jesus, what the hell's that about? Hey, Beth, I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Emerald's office. Looks like that's one level up. Into the villa under order. There it is. I'll make sure that Sophia's in position when the time is right. right. Wait for my call. Wait for my call. It was some kind of surveillance drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. I strain my powers. We refer to it as a chronon dampener.
Paul visited me in that cell, he said time was a closed loop. Believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. Seeing the scale of that facility made me wonder. Time was ending? What was it all for? Okay, I gotta get to Dr. Amaral's office. The chart showed that all of Monarch's major technological advancements started in 2010. Around the same time that something else happened. Ground Zero. Target has been lost. Over. Which way is everyone's office? These things were designed like walking tanks. They weren't for you. Don't flatter yourself. It was clear that Monarch had been building the Chronon technology for years. They were prepared for the fracture. None of it would have been possible without the CFR. Oh, hello. Might be able to get out from here. This isn't the usual employee route. I knew that Monarch had technology to let their soldiers move in stutters, but this was bigger than that. Somehow, time flowed normally in that area. Suddenly, Monarch's lack of concern about time stopping made a hell of a lot more sense. Dr. Emerald's office must be close. No alarms. Looks like nobody here knows about the mess I made on the way in. <sighs> nice job, Beth.
That's Amaral's office. Yeah, Amaral had tried to warn Paul. The end of time was approaching quickly. Less than 24 hours away. Mr. Serene believed it would take years to run its course. Admittedly, he was wrong. There looks like what Beth wanted. Oh shit. Emerald's at the party. A stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Quite expensive piece of tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. I had to get it to her at the party before it was too late. Guns made to operate in a stutter. Paul had clear priorities. When time ends, guns don't. The Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken for Dr. Amaral's office was, uh, was much lighter, almost like a civilian model. You gave yourself up at the party. Clearly your presence had an impact on Serene. He dropped everything to see you in that cell. Now why do you think that was? He wanted me to understand. Why he did what he did. What he was trying to do. He wanted to recruit you. Maybe he should have thought of that before killing my brother. 